In this video, we're going over the new top five best class setups to use here in Modern Warfare 3 Season 3. A lot of weapons receive buffs as well as nerfs in this update, and it's time to change all of your class setups in order to improve your KD ratio and drop your first MGB nuke. So if that sounds good to you, feel free, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications, let me know down in the comment section, what is your favorite gun to use currently after the recent update? And if you guys want a shout out, make sure to comment Nodi Gang down in the comment section. Let's get into it. All right, so for class setup number one, we're taking a look at the MCW. I understand this weapon did receive a nerf this update, but I have a build that's going to be returning it to its former glory. Now, we are going to be starting off with the conversion kit, and we are going to be utilizing the Jack Raven kit. This is going to be a good attachment on the MCW, allowing us to dominate, absolutely dominate at those medium ranges. That's where this weapon is going to shine. We're taking advantage of increased fire rate, mobility and handling, damage at close range, as well as hip fire and tax stand spread. Yes, this kit technically transforms into a more of a running gun style MCW build, but with some attachments coupled with the pros of this conversion kit, this is gonna be quite the monster at those mid ranges. Now we are gonna double back to the muzzle and I do recommend running the compensated flash hider. This is gonna be the best muzzle to utilize on the MCW, especially if you are rocking the conversion kit, allowing us to have that increased vertical recoil control, horizontal recoil control, firing aiming stability, as well as removing us off the radar for a short period of time. We can get down at those close ranges, media ranges where the weapon is gonna shine, as well as long ranges if you do get into those gunfights. So feel free and equip this. Now, we are gonna run a barrel on the Jack Raven kit, and luckily we can equip the 16.5 MCW Cyclone Long Barrel. This is where that long range potential is gonna be extended, because we are gonna be going ahead and correcting a lot of the cons, those being bumping up both velocity and range, aim out sway control ability, as well as firing aiming stability. Overall, a great attachment to run on the MCW when running the conversion kit, giving us all of the best of the world so we can go ahead and attack players from close range, medium range, as well as longer ranges. Now, we are gonna be utilizing an optic on the setup. I recommend running the Jack Glassless optic on the MCW. This is gonna be a good attachment, especially when running the conversion kit, because not only are we getting a precision sight picture, but we also are taking advantage of firing aiming stability, and my personal favorite, less visual recoil, making sure we can outgun players very easily no matter where they are on the map. Remember when I said they're taking advantage of all of the worlds that we get into gunfights with? Close range, medium range, long range? Yeah, this attachment is gonna allow that to be done very, very easily. And then finally, we are gonna be running a stock, and I do recommend running the RB Regal Heavy Stock. This is a beautiful attachment on the MCW, especially with the conversion kit, bumping up gun kit control, recoil control, and even more hack stance spread once you go ahead and jump in the fire range you're going to see that we have a class setup that not only has a fast ads but like all my builds you're going to see in this video this thing literally has zero recoil and we are taking advantage of more of the close range you know capabilities with that conversion kit we have all worlds going ahead and being taken accounted for with this class setup it is amazing now for men in the build i do recommend running the core 45 i run this on every single class setup it is the absolute best secondary to run in the entire game definitely put this with the conversion kit this is going to be a great class setup when you have this on because we're going to be transforming this pistol into more of a submachine gun now we are going to go ahead and utilize the 40 round drum here because the fire rate is going to be significantly increased with the conversion kit we're running the so skeletal vertical grip here is a great attack taking advantage of both close range as well as long range capabilities with that increased ADS as well as recoil control. We are gonna have the Colossus Suppressor XS version on here as well for even more recoil control and take us off the radar. And we are gonna be utilizing the XRK Dynamic Precision Stock, which is gonna be beautiful, smoothing out that recoil pattern with increased gun kit control and more recoil control. Once you go ahead and jump in the firing range, you're gonna see this is gonna be a nasty backup because even though it is a pistol, again, it is gonna be a very accurate submachine gun hybrid absolutely amazing now i do recommend running munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers phone conduction headset to hear footsteps and gunfire a lot easier goes to keep us off the radar and even though they did add some new vests to the game the commons vest is still going to be 
absolute king, giving us essentially a 24 7 UAV. Every time you kill somebody, run over the body, you're gonna be getting a radar beacon, letting you know where people are at. And this is gonna be super helpful because the spawns, even on the new maps, big surprise, are horrible. The MCW, absolutely amazing after the update, especially when you are utilizing a class setup with the conversion kit. Give this a try right now. Now, for class setup number two, we're taking a look at the brand new DLC weapon, the FJX Horus. This is a great replacement to the WSP Swarm, which ironically did receive a nerf this update. So use this immediately once you get it unlocked. Now, for the first attachment, we actually have to run a barrel in order to unlock the muzzles. You guys can see here, the good muzzles are blocked if you do not utilize a barrel luckily it is something we have to equip now the heavy barrel is going to be a massive w on the submachine gun allowing us to remove a lot of that weird recoil this weapon does have we're taking advantage of increased recoil control gun kick control and my favorite firing aiming stability this is a very fast firing submachine gun just like the wsp swarm so we're gonna have to control it to the best of our ability which i have a class that's gonna make that very easy now for the muzzle because we have them unlocked we are gonna be running the compensated flash hider on this submachine gun there aren't that many smgs that benefit from the compensated flash hider this is one of them we're taking advantage of increased vertical recoil control horizontal recoil control my favorite firing aiming stability and we are getting the benefit of taking ourselves off the radar for a short period of time this is a great attachment because we can run and gun get in their spawn and still take people out at longer ranges with this setup now luckily because we have recoil control pretty much locked in we do not have to run an under barrel so we have a free attachment slot and we are utilizing a magazine and the 48 round mag is going to be mandatory just like the wsp swarm we have to bump up that capacity we have to do that with the horse because the fire rate is crazy which is a good thing this will be one of the better running gun submachine guns we have in the game as of right now so make sure you guys have the 48 round mag equipped we are going to be running an optic and this is where things are going to get kind of different here i don't recommend running the jack glassless on this submachine gun if you guys kind of saw the trend of the attachments are running they are going to be slowing down the ads time so unfortunately we can't run this luckily recoil control has been tamed so we are going to be running the slate reflector which is going to be offering no cons just benefits giving us a clean optic picture this weapon i promise you is still going to be easy to control and then finally we are going to be running a stock on the setup and i do recommend running the lopper lxd stock this is going to be a great attachment going ahead and bumping up even more recoil control we're also taking advantage of gun kick control firing aiming stability you can't get enough of that as well as aim idle sway overall a great attachment on the horse going ahead and keeping it in line and honestly better than the wsp swarm once you get in the fire range you're going to see here that we have a very very easy to control recoil pattern with this weapon it is going to be a monster at those close medium ranges do not sleep on the submachine gun especially if you're trying to get into the new dlc kind of meta bandwagon we have right now you guys know the drill whenever a new gun comes out we gotta go ahead and utilize it now we are gonna be rocking the core 45 with its conversion kit you guys know this is gonna be the same exact class i run on all my builds we have the conversion kit the 40 round drum we are utilizing the so skeletal vertical grip on this build we have on the colossus suppressor xs version we do have on the extra kit that never in stock in order to bump up more recoil as well as gun kit control the best secondary in the entire game we are running medicine's box scavenger gloves covert sneakers phone conduction headset goes to keep us off the radar and that good old comms vest allowing us to have a 24 7 uav pretty much all times this is going to be a great build if you're trying to run and gun and also punish some wsp swarm users who are not on the new dlc bandwagon now for class setup number three we're rocking the sva 545 this is a fantastic assault rifle especially if you're looking for something that can do it all running gun and long range combat now we are starting off with the muzzle here and i recommend running the t51r billeted break not the compensated flash title we're going to be utilizing this because it's going to be drastically bumping up that recoil control especially at those longer ranges we have vertical recoil firing aiming stability i love that as well as gun kick control this is going to be a great attachment on this assault rifle to outgun a lot of the lower recoil weapons lower recoil weapons in the game 
Now, we are going to be running a barrel, and the STV Precision Barrel is going to be phenomenal on this AR. This is going to be the absolute best barrel to use. Don't run anything else because we have increased a miles away controllability, low velocity and range, gun kick control, and more recoil control. This gun, even though it does have cons with this, is going to be amazing even like I said, with the cons, we're going to be running and gunning, outgunning people at longer ranges. This gun could do it all. Now, we are going to run an underbarrel on this setup, and the Bruin Heavy Support Grip is what we're after here. We are going to be smoothing out the recoil pattern, taking advantage of more gun kick control, A model sway, horizontal recoil, and my favorite, firing aiming stability. We can go full auto across the map without worrying about a thing, and that's why the SVA 545 is so nasty this is a monster we are going to be running an optic on this setup and the jack glasses luckily is a great option here the cons cons are relevant just like the cons we had on the barrel this is going to be irrelevant we're going to have increased firing aiming stability a precision sight picture and also less visual recoil making the long range combat a breeze man literally you're not going to be thinking about it point and shoot forget about it now, finally, we do have a stock attached. We're going to be running, and I do recommend running the main V6 stock. This is going to be a good option going ahead and removing all recoil. We have recoil control and gun kick control. That's it. That's all we need. Once you jump into the firing range, you're going to see that this gun is not going to move. You're going to have a fast ADS, which is crazy because we literally have nothing but recoil and stability controlling attachments. It don't move it doesn't move this is going to be a point and shoot laser that is going to be a melt machine use this setup immediately if you're trying to destroy everybody in the lobby as always for the secondary we have on the core 45 with its conversion kit we are running the 40 round drum we have on the sl skeletal vertical grip we have the colossus suppressor xs version and we are utilizing the xrk dynamic precision stock do not forget to run the munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers own conduction headset ghost tv camo to keep us off the radar in the good old comms vest giving us a 24 7 uav every single time you kill somebody and run over their body this class setup is amazing one of my favorite assault rifles to run in game you're going to be outgunning a lot of lmg users a lot of Holger 556 users and also mcw users if they are not running the conversion kit which for some reason people aren't running give this a go right now now for class setup number four running it back with the striker do not forget about the submachine gun it is a monster at those medium ranges you can still run and gun with it that's why this weapon is so effective in the season three meta now for the first attack we are going to be running a muzzle no we are not going to run the compensated flash hider instead we're going to be running it with the basic shadow strike suppressor s this is a fantastic attachment Taking us off the radar, that's all we need. No cons, just the way I like it. A massive W on this submachine gun. Now, we are going to be running a barrel on this build as well, and the Striker Recon Long Barrel is phenomenal here, allowing us to punish other submachine gun users at medium ranges. We're taking advantage of increased bullet velocity and range, as well as aim idle sway controllability. This is going to be one of the best mid-range submachine guns to use, especially if you're looking for something that has low recoil that you can still run and gun and outgun people at close range. Do not sleep on this attachment with this submachine gun. Now, because we have the recoil control pretty much already smoothed out, we don't have to run an underbarrel at all, which is going to be freeing up an attachment slot. Whenever an, a submachine gun setup does not have to utilize an underbarrel, you best believe we're going to go ahead and run a magazine, and the 48-round mag is amazing on this weapon allowing us to take out more than one person at the same time we don't have to reload after every single gunfight this is incredible and the cons are going to be completely irrelevant now we are going to be running an optic on this duel because the iron sights they're okay but this is going to be a mid-range weapon so we're going to be rocking that jack glass this year just a great choice giving us a precision sight picture firing aiming stability and my favorite less visual recoil making sure that we can outgun those ar and even lmg players incredibly easily with this class setup and then finally we are going to be running a stock on this build and we are going to be running the lockman recon series stock the only con here is it is going to be restricting that rear grip but who really cares here we're taking advantage of increased gun kick control 
aim out of sway as well as recoil control here this is going to be a point and shoot laser beam once you jump in the fire range you're going to find out firsthand this setup is the real deal because we have a respectable ads and like all my builds i mean guys man any submachine gun setup that does that no recoil massive w now from in the build we are going to be going ahead and rocking the good old core 45 with the conversion kit a good option here on this submachine gun pistol we have the 40 round drum rocking the so skeletal vertical grip we have on the colossus suppressor xs version as well as the xrk that i in stock taking advantage of more gun kick as well as recoil control definitely a great secondary my favorite in the entire game we have on the munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers own conduction headset to hear footsteps and gunfire a lot easier as well as ghosts to keep us off that radar and we're still rocking that comms vest giving us that 24 7 uav do not sleep on the striker i absolutely love this build you guys are going to be loving it as well because it's going to be a nice medium range submachine gun that you can still run and gun with and outgun everybody you see on the map definitely a huge huge w and then finally for class setup number five we're taking a look at the mtz 556 a veteran here in modern warfare 3 this is a nasty assault rifle just like the sva 545 if you're trying to run and gun and dominate at those longer ranges as well now for the most we are going to be rocking the compensated flash hider a massive w on this assault rifle bumping up that vertical recoil control horizontal recoil as well as firing aiming stability and taking us off the radar for a short period of time this is going to be a great attachment on the mtz 556 first because we are going to be running and gunning but outgunning players at those beat them longer ranges at the same time so definitely give this a go now we are going to run a barrel there are actually a lot of good choices to run with this assault rifle one of the few ars that has at least two to three barrels that are actually viable some people like to go ahead and rock the clinch pro barrel some people like the drifter heavy long barrel me personally that rowan xl 356 is going to be phenomenal completely smoothing out that recoil pattern giving us increased recoil control gun kick control and aim idle sway controllability you are going to be mapping with this attachment it is incredible zero recoil just the way i like it i know for a fact a lot of you guys will enjoy this as well now for the underbarrel, we are going to be running the ftech msp 98 hand stop overall a great attached run when running a long barrel that is going to be reducing that recoil especially with a gun that doesn't have a lot of recoil this is going to be a nice attachment to replace the bruin heavy support grip this is going to be good because we're taking advantage of vertical recoil control gun kick control and also close range benefits movement speed and aim walking speed you're moving and grooving walking around aim down sight ready to win each and every gunfight this is going to be a great attachment to have on your mtz 556 build now we are going to be running an optic on this setup and if you guys guessed the jack glass is going to be key here because since we already have a fast ads the con con is going to be irrelevant we're taking advantage of a precision sight picture firing aiming stability and less visual recoil which is going to be a huge w at controlling this weapon at those longer ranges which it already is able to be controlled very easily why not make it even easier now we are going to be utilizing a stock on this setup and some people like to go ahead and rock the exf close quarter stock now i'm telling you guys this right now mpz maruder stock is going to be amazing bumping up even more recoil control as well as gun kick control on this assault rifle we're literally going to have a point and shoot solution because once you go ahead and jump in the firing range you're going to see here that even though we have some close range attachments here i mean look how fast ads speed is it don't move man it doesn't move this is going to be a great class setup if you're looking to go ahead and run and gun and absolutely dominate one of my favorite ars next to the sva 545 if you're looking for something that is universal meaning you can run it at any and all ranges with ease now in the setup we have on the core 45 you guys know the drill here we have the conversion kit we are running the 40 round drum we have on the sl skeletal vertical grip we have the colossus suppressor xs version and we are going to be utilizing the good old xrk dynamic stock to bump up that gun kick as well as recoil control and as always make sure you guys rock the munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers own conduction headset as well as ghost to keep us off that radar and do not forget the commas vest is still the absolute best vest in the entire game giving us a 24 7 uav every time you kill somebody run into the body to drop a radar beacon let you know where people are at this is a phenomenal build if you're looking for an mtz 556 setup that can literally do it all 
close range, medium range, long range, it's got you guys covered. Now, these are going to be the top five best guns to use right now here in Modern Warfare 3 Season 3. If there are two setups you should check out immediately, make sure you guys go ahead and give the new FJX Horse a try. It's a new submachine gun. It replaces the WSP Swarm. Why wouldn't you go ahead and give this a go? And the best thing about the submachine gun, honestly, is all the attachments that are good are unlocked early. So there is no time wasted going ahead and dominating lobbies. And I do recommend also giving the SVA 545 a go. This is seriously one of the best assault rifles to use if you're trying to run and gun and also outgun players at those longer ranges. If you guys enjoyed the video and uh, check out any of these class setups, you drop your first nuke, let me know down in the comment section. And as always, drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Deuces!